Cause I'm a cowboy <laughs> on a steel horse I ride. <laughs> I'm wanted. Wanted. Oh, shit. All right. Shut the, the hell shit. up. I, I, the last thing this movie needs is you singing Bon Jovi. But you guys aren't Bon Jovi fans? The last thing anything needs is anyone, including Bon Jovi, singing Bon Jovi. <laughs> but this is a superhero <laughs> movie, and Bon Jovi is like New Jersey's <laughs> superhero. <laughs> No, 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 no. It was a superhero story. Yeah. This is not a superhero movie. No, it used to be a superhero like story until they got a hold of it and they said, you know what? We find that audiences think superheroes are implausible. So instead, we're going to make them hitmen who have kind of superpowers. Can I say something here? <laughs> no. Sure. <laughs> yeah. Shut up. Who are you anyway? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, well, <laughs> why do you want to talk all of a sudden? Who the hell are you? <laughs> I'm going to say it anyway. What are you doing myself? What, what did, uh, when did Hancock show up at this review? <laughs> Who let the homeless guy in? <laughs> Fuck you. Man. Fuck all y'all. Shit. I'm Corey, goddammit. But I just want to say something here. And, it's, and don't take this the wrong way. But... I'm not nerds like the rest of you. And even I have read this comic book and agree that they have made something that is a travesty of its original material. Thank you. Thank you. Well done, sir. Yes. How about, where's the joke? You, you left your scientific calculator over at my house, Corey. <laughs> What the, see, you know what? This is, this is one of those oddities. I am the odd man out. I have not read this comic. I've heard about it, and I remember when it first came out because Leon was going on and on about how awesome it was, but I still have never sat down to watch it. So I don't know how close to the source material this is, so I had to watch this as just a movie. Sure. Well, I have to say. And, oh, and? <laughs> oh, well, so I figured we'd something. get into that at some point. Right. And I thought it was a really fun movie. Not a great movie. I think it's definitely a flawed movie, uh, but I think it was fun. Uh, so I'm, okay. I'm curious to hear what you guys had to say about the source. Now, now, now I'm sorry I asked you. Um, you know what? T to me, this movie is like – I mean I think we all agree it's broken into thirds where yeah. the first third is actually like, hey, this is actually pretty good and promising. Yeah, it was Sec called Fight Club. Yeah, well, no, no. This is like if Fight Club and The Matrix had a retarded child, and, that, that would be this movie. Yeah, and, and it got like in – Included the Karen Carpenter story. Let's not forget. Come on, man. Don't 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 rag on Angelina Jolie. Oh, come on, come, come on, Doc. Hey, hey you do not mess with the living baby machine. Okay. <laughs> Wait a minute. That woman was designed genetically to pop out babies. What happened? Is Angela Angelina Jolie's mother played? Did she play Karen Carpenter or something? What in the hell no. are you talking? No, about? no. no what in the, the hell are you talking about? You made such a giant leap with this Karen Carpenter story because, because she, she's so she's skinny. Talking, she she just got tapped to play Skeletor in the He Man. <laughs> no, and that's not entirely implausible. Watching this what, movie, don't act like she's I'm crazy. So what the hell are you talking about? She's so skinny. I could, you know, a doctor watching this movie could tell her what exactly is going on with her anatomy and her internal organs. I mean, it's disgusting watching her. Why can't you just say she's so skinny that blank blank? Why you got to get right. this long because, way? Just because you're an idiot, I got to make up ground for you. Come on, man. <laughs> the, the, the Karen Carpenter reference out of nowhere. I mean, most people listening to this or watching this don't even know who Karen Carpenter is. Well, grow up. <laughs> God damn, you you the kind of brother we can get somewhere in a straight line and you go around the block to get there. I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> the second the second damn. third of this movie, they were kind of losing it, but it's like, okay, well sometimes these things drag. But in the final third, they just completely lost and this thing completely skips the rails and goes into just bullshitville. No, I man, first of all, I'm the kind of guy. I'm not gonna hold it against the comic. I'm gonna say I'm gonna give it a fair chance. As a movie, why are you looking at me crazy? Why would you hold it against a comic that they made a crappy movie out of it? Because <laughs> some people can go in and say, well, it's not like the comic. But, hey, I'm not going to say that. If you make a good movie, then that's fine. But what do you want? It's kind of like saying, you know, uh, you're so ugly, I'm going to slap your mama. Well, I stop for that. <laughs> I'm just, you, I'm, you, I'm, you know what? I want to ask you that true. question. You yeah. stop for that? <laughs> he had something to say, and you didn't was like, hey, hold on, let me finish first. Or it's like, I didn't say it. Shut up. That's not funny. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> no, it's, it's just that I, as a movie, it started out really cool, as most movies do. You get this origin, you, you, this, this setup. You, but, get, you get drawn in by what the character is going to go through, what change they're going to have. And then when, you, when they actually get to the last act of that movie, they totally don't know what to do with it. And I'm just thinking, wow, this started out as something very interesting, and then it just ended up being an average action film 
with overblown special effects. Not that that's always bad, but for what they promised in this movie, I was just And an ending that didn't make a whole lot of sense. Oh, hell no. Nah. Yeah, it's Ed Norton from Fight Club. If instead of having multiple personalities, it turns out that secretly he had a genetic ability to kill people better than anyone else. And got brought into a secret society of assassins who also had a genetic ability to kill everyone better than anyone else. That was run by Morgan Freeman, who I guess was... His character from Dreamcatchers, because this is the only other movie I can think of that he's as bad in as that one. Uh, they should have given him the crazy hairstyle. He did have a crazy <laughs> hairstyle. Morgan Freeman is the only brother in Hollywood. He's the only black man in Hollywood that wakes up in the morning, that wakes up in the morning, looks in the mirror, and says, "No, nah, I'm not gonna comb my hair." <laughs> well, he had just got done playing Frederick Douglass on, on um, in Broadway. <laughs> Oh, he did? No, he didn't, but he, <laughs> he looked like that. Oh, oh, yeah, but Karen Carpenter's an obscure reference. <laughs> I ain't saying it's an obscure reference. The way you went about it is the long way. Oh, okay. Now, you did the Lord of the Rings shit to get to that, that the shit. What, now, I got to say, I had fun with this movie. I, you I, have fun with every No, I every, don't have fun with Carl every movie. Carlisle, every big summer movie that's come out this year, you've loved it. That I is use not those words. true. This is the that is so not true. Tell, tell me the one that you didn't love. Guru. That wasn't a big summer that movie. That doesn't even count. Uh, how, no one uh, likes it. Sex in the City. That... You know what I'm talking about. The, no, big, the, the big special effects action movies. You sure. loved. Every, you have loved, not liked, loved every one of them. Domino. That's right. You do kind of. Uh, I'm talking about this summer. I'm not going to say like always and forever, but this summer. No, this summer. We I, this summer, I have been very happy. I've enjoyed almost everything that has come out. He has it has been point. a very good summer. It, it is, has. I, I mean, everything has been a lot of fun. It's hard it's, to pick on them. Yeah. I mean, it, it really has been a really solid summer. It, there has not been a lot of crap. And, but ha- but this one is the first big one. What are you, his henchman? <laughs> Everything he says, you're like, yo, he's right about that. Yeah. Oh, you can't pick on him. No, oh, but, but I'm just, I just disagreed with him. What do you want from me? Let me, let me start calling you Igor from now on. You know what? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to show you the future, my friend. I'm not giving this a full price. Oh, okay. This is not. I am not in love with this movie. This is a heavily flawed movie. Okay. You, I, you just interrupted me before I cut in with the butt because there are problems here. This movie wears its influences on on its sleeve. You sure. guys have already mentioned Matrix and, uh, and, Fight Club. and and Fight Club, but also John Woo and Luke Besson get oh, ripped yeah. off ten different kinds of ways here. And it takes all this stuff from all this great material, and unlike a movie like Wall E, it doesn't give anything back. There's nothing new here that really adds anything to the genre it is just an influences film that says hey here's a fun popcorn chomping movie but we're not going to do anything special because there's nothing special here we're hoping that either you haven't seen the films that we're ripping off the style of so you know blatantly or that you're the type of person who's just like oh i love this just like that other film i love because there's nothing really original here you know something i do have to agree with you whenever uh michael bay needs a blowjob he's got carlisle's number on speed dial so Come, come on. Come on. Now, come now, on. Now, now you're doing it. Now I'm bad. Why, why, why am I evil here? It's like a non sequitur you got going here. I think this I'm is like non sequitur theater. Everybody just like, oh, I have a joke about something that was said in the last review. Let me throw that out right now. Okay, okay. I'm just trying to help people here. That's. I <laughs> happen to love movies, and I love the summer because that's when they bring out the stuff they spend the most money on, and they, they try to make fun movies rather than heavy movies. Let me, and there's yeah. been a lot of fun here. This is probably the, the first big summer blockbuster where I walked away going you know I, I really that didn't live up to what it could have been. Well let me explain what this movie is about uh, in two different ways. Now number one for face value this movie is about a guy who lives a very for lack of a better word a very shitty life. He's Carlisle. <laughs> he's a pussy. <laughs> Yeah, exactly. He's no, Carla. He's, he's, no. he's just a little pussy riding his scooter back and forth, and life sucks. You said it. I didn't. But yes. I mean, the guy has a dead-end job that he hates. His boss hates him. His girlfriend hates him, stays with him for some reason, but has sex it, with, his, with, with his best friend. And pretty much this guy's a pushover, so you can see why all this is happening to him. Now, his life takes a turn for the better when Angelina Jolie shows up and says, you know what? This is not the life you were meant to lead. You are the son of a of a of a of the world's greatest assassin. You're meant to follow in his footsteps, and I'm here to lead you the way. However, this was taken from a book called Wanted, the, where in the in the book this guy was actually the son of a supervillain, and when he's brought into the supervillain le- legion called the Fraternity, this is where these two different these two movies differ. One is about assassins. One one is about supervillains. And if you ask me, 
they should have went with the story about the supervillains because they would have had something a little more imaginative. Well, well yeah. of course. I mean, the, 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 yeah, the thing is, they do so much unrealistic shit that if they had been supervillains, it would have made sense. Yeah. And of all the times in the world, I mean, I understand you go like, oh, well, people won't buy supervillains. They won't believe in that. We got to go with assassins. But right now, you have like a plethora of superhero movies that everybody loves. If there was ever a time to do a supervillain movie, now is that There's, time. There are six comic book or comic book style movies coming out this summer. Yeah. You know, the thing about this plot that just, the, the one aspect that I didn't quite dig was the fact that it's a 13 year old's wet dream. Yep. I mean, here's a guy who's got a shitty life and then this super hottie Angelina <laughs> Jolie walks to the door and goes, by the way, your life doesn't really suck. You're the son of a super badass, which means you're going to be a super badass. And me and you are going to start hanging out in my hot car and lead an exciting life. And all of a sudden, it's like, yeah, that's what I'm going to do. Not to it's, mention beat the crap out of anyone who ever gave you shit in your previous life. It's, it's basically Harry Potter for Columbine kids. Yeah. <laughs> and, you're right. You're right. <laughs> That's exactly what this is. Damn right, I'm gonna get those motherfuckers. My life sucks, and I'm gonna I'm gonna tell my boss where to go, and I'm gonna tell that douchebag where to go, and then I'm gonna kill people with magic no, bullets. Exactly. This, this movie screams CNN inspired, like multiple <laughs> shooting all over it. You know what I'm saying? Like some kid's gonna go like, Yeah, I wanted. Fuck, I'm gonna kill everyone I who I hate. It Ex was that movie. Yeah. Exactly, because I tell you what, if you're 13 year old, if you are 13 years old and you're looking at this shit and thinking, I'm gonna take control right now, your ass is gonna end up in jail and get raped of some, from some black dude in jail. So right, right. Just because your why father. Why does it have to be some black dude? Why because, could a white guy like because, a little Because you white kids are the ones who go crazy and go to the school and shoot people, and you better kill yourself because if you don't, you, that scary black dude you always dreamed of. Are nightmared about he's gonna be the one fucking you in your ass when you go to jail. That's true. Black it, people kill people for money or crack or whatever. White people just kill people because we get bored or whatever. You <laughs> no, know, because yeah, mommy didn't That's love true. me. So <laughs> yeah, no, you got it right there. Daddy <laughs> didn't hug me. Yeah, I, I would say to all you white trash kids who might 